Hi, I'm Mike. Uh, Wahoo International has a brand new product called Zero Box. It's one of their solar res resins, which means it's a UV cure. To seal your styrofoam blank, that allows you to come back and glass the board with polyester resin. The VOC stands for Volatile Organic Compound, which is another way of saying it has no fumes. It's earth friendly. Pretty good stuff. There is no catalyst involved, so it's safe that way too. And it's really fast. So you, can, you can do a whole board start to finish in under a day. It also puts a much stronger bond on the blank than the, uh, the standard uh, spackle that most people use. Uh, since there's no callus involved, what you don't use off on the board, you can save for later. You can put it back into the jar. Now, if you can see the pores in the styrofoam, now this is basically what the people use the um, putty for, is to fill up these little because you can't sand this part out. This is just the way styrofoam comes. I've got a couple of samples here. This is putty that's been dried in the sun on a piece of wax paper. Basically, it's like a, when it dries, it's mostly just a chalk. This is the Zero Vac. You can see this is a thin coat on wax paper. It's extremely flexible, and it's, there's hardly any weight to it also. And this is the Zero Vac with a little bit, I see the, uh, I'll hold it up against the black bottle. You see I've mixed some micro balloons in it. Now this is a good idea. Um, it, it stretches the Zero Vac. You, you can make the, the resin last a little longer. And also um, because it's got this tooth to it, it's a wee bit sticky. And then when you put the micro balloons in it, it takes some of the stickiness off of it. So it's a little easier to sand. Here's a piece of styrofoam. Um, this has the spackle on it, and I'll give it a little press here, and you can see it, uh, it just it crumbles in. Now this is the Zero Vac, and it's much stronger seal. You can see I'm giving it the, a pretty good squeeze there. And this is before the board is even glassed at all. This is just the coating. And the new, the new styrofoam is much better. Um, this one, this particular blank here is from Austin Foam Cores, because you've got the, the styrofoam core, and if you shape it real thin, you've got a lot of flex, a lot of flex that springs back. Right? The only thing that's really important is if you're going to come back and glass the board with the uh, polyester resin, you have to make sure that the styrofoam blank is completely sealed with the Zero Vac. Now the best way to do this is to put, uh, put one coat on pretty much the same as you do the spackle. Just squeegee it on. We can put it out in the sun and cook it, come back and give it a flip it, do the other side, and then put a second sealer coat of the Zero Vac. The whole, the whole process will take you maybe 10, 15 minutes because it's real, it cures in the sun really fast. But it's a very important that you have a complete seal of the styrofoam blank before you come back with the vinyl ester or the polyester resin. If you're going to use the uh, the epoxy resin, then it really doesn't matter. So you'd be using this basically just for a, a much stronger seal than you're going to get from the uh, the paste, the spackle. Uh, but another, a safer way to do it, if you have the time, is to glass the board with the Zero Vac with a real light fiberglass, like a, oh, about a two ounce, something real fine, just to make sure that you get a complete seal. So I can't stress how important that is, because if there's any kind of a leak, the polyurethane resin will get in and it eats away at the styrofoam. But if you can completely seal your styrofoam blank with this stuff and then come back and give yourself a, uh, either a polyester or, or a vinyl ester glass up, you'll have a lighter, stronger surfboard than your standard surfboards are made today. How much zero block did we Let's use? Let's uh, weigh the blank. Before and after. Uh, the blank weighed a little less than two and a half pounds. And after we were done with the uh, Zero Vac, it weighed a little over four and a half pounds. So the total Zero Vac weight added to the blank after two coats and then glassing it with the two ounce was approximately two pounds and four ounces.